Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 from his home base in Texas off Park Road 4 near, near Kingsland, Texas. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? In Kingsland, it's currently 42. With a high of 61. I'm still alive in my 2019 Casita, 84 square feet of comfort to me. Been, been full-time RVing or living in an RV a long time. And today, it is a very important day. It is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one, or try to. And anyway, what else? Uh, hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor right now, it's 14 degrees. With a high of 26. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana. The current temperature in Butte is 24. With a high of 38, which is not bad. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? The temperature in Fairbanks right now is minus 28. <laughs> With a high of minus 17. Thank you. Now go away. <laughs> anyway, that's Trenton Clump. That's an it. That's a teddy bear with my name on it. Popeye Olive Oil from the old Popeye cartoons. Betty Boop from the 1930s. Behind them is a sticker that says Native Texan with a jalapeno on it. This is a $1 million note, a thousand yen note, a five euro note, and beneath that's two two dollar bills. That's a frugal RV gal sticker. Check her channel out. This is Mr. Bo Jangles. He'll dance for you if you pull his string. Those are organic bananas and they're getting older by the day, like me. Anyway, this is Olive Oil's bra. That's a smiling face with nose, ears, and hair that I put on it. And that is a little sticker that says, Life is better in a casita. So, <clears throat> hey Google, tell us a mouse joke. She ain't gonna do that. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, tell us a refrigerator joke. What did the vinaigrette say to the refrigerator? Close the door, I'm dressing. <laughs> I just happened to look at my refrigerator. All right, enough of that, enough of that. But anyway, <clears throat> let's do some comments before I sneeze. I gotta sneeze. One of the not pleasures of living in central Texas where I live is cedar pollen. And this is the time of the year that we get some of that. And it makes your eyes itch and it makes your nose run or it makes you sneeze. But anyway, Sky King says, I need a I need lot bigger speakers so I can blast my music late at night at campsite. That's good, Sky King. You'd be very popular. <laughs> This is on the small RV. I'm a sailor. If you think about it, all RVs are porta potties on wheels. Some are just bigger and more luxurious. Yeah, you could look at it that way. You could say all houses are permanent potties, I guess. This is a lot of comments on the small RV. Anyway, hot limited, cheap, cheap, cheap. And this is on, believe it or not, Prius camping at, I think I was at Dog Canyon. Uh, well, that is uh, in the, in the West Texas. It's in the. I'll have to think of it. It's near Carlsbad, New Mexico. But anyway, this is Pluto N ninety nine. Is it dangerous to explore the park on foot? Any mountain lions or predators around? There are mountain lions there, but nobody. They don't bother you. Uh, hundreds of people hike that park every day. That is, uh, that's near Guadalupe Mountains National Park in Texas. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get lost. Damn, that's tiny, but I'd use it for a while. It's kind of cute. That's on living in a little guy the guy was camping in. And here we go. This is comment called Taz Mod. Says, good afternoon, Rusty Trike Man. Good, good morning to you. Taz Mod says, good afternoon. Oh, thanks for the review. You're welcome. And then this is on the little RV. Overland with Robert. X Overland with Robert. 
not functional for inclement weather cooking. True. Or windy weather. I guess that's inclement. Living in a little guy. That's that guy out in, that I met out in uh, New Mexico. John Bolton, a big shout out for Rogers Motors. <laughs> Use code RUSTY78609 for your discount. I don't think he gives you a discount. But anyway, get, ask him. Uh, this is on the little RV, Dennis 78382. How are you, how are you doing, Dennis 78382? Check Dennis's channel out. That's his channel name, Dennis 78382. He's out of Corpus Christi, Texas. Does a lot of good stuff in that area. So give him a shot. Definitely not, definitely not for me, but I'll bet they do sell. Thanks for the tour. Yeah, they sell because they're cheap and they're little and you can tow them with anything. That's a fact. And this is e-commerce idea space. Rusty, you lucky, no leaky roof, no broken disposal, broken window screen, etc. in homes, apartments, money or money pits. Bought a sink sprayer for 10. Went home, it's broken. Crap is made so bad. Anyway, love your simple setup. Thank you very much. Tazmod, hi Rusty Trike man, you're welcome. How, how are you doing? E-commerce idea space. Take one. Take the one off the price, well, then it'd be zero nine hundred. That's like what time it is in the military. Anyway, Nomad for Life, great video and thanks for sharing. Stay warm. It's pretty cool here in Central Florida as well. Burr. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's funny how uh, there's it, it, the cool weather kind of goes in a strip across the U.S. But that's the way it is. Uh, Steve Gila, 1950. <clears throat> Says, good morning, Rusty, from your friend in Bali. Okay, you're doing all these RV reviews. I am coming back looking for something over 20 feet, two axles, maybe even a fifth wheel. How about a review on a slightly larger RV? If I see any, I'll do them. You bet. Uh, Republic looks like Ken to Catchman Clipper Cadet. Could be. Uh, Bill T Clink Tinkler. Do people really take shower outside buck naked? If they want to, they can do anything they want to. Michael S., thanks for the video, Rusty. My two cents is I would always want a rear bumper no matter what size RV. It's not if, but when you will bump something down the line. Possibly. RV life on the open road, doing a great job. Thank you so much. You rock. Then Scotty Thompson, the bowler from Wisconsin. <clears throat> Cool comment call, Rusty. I might exercise, Rusty. Good for you, Scotty. It won't hurt you. Uh, he also says, cool video taught, Rusty. LOL. RV Sunset Part 129. Does the RV have a TV? Yes, it does have a TV, Scotty Thompson. All right, it's got a spot for a TV. Let me say that. <clears throat> Budget Man Travel Guy's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do one of them. Uh, says, hard to go wrong with a road trek. Great lady seems off to a great start on her adventures. Yeah, there was a girl I, or lady I met out in New Mexico at Oliver Lee State Park, and she was in a road trek SS. Anyway, this is uh, something about... <clears throat> When should I retire? This is a budget travel guy first. He's going to take his, his first day I'm eligible. I'm willing to take the hit. I'm not willing to work until 70 unless it's part-time and by choice. I've already worked enough in this lifetime. Safe travels. Thank you very much. Uh, here's one here. It says BZ10 sec. Wow, I can get a second-hand casita for less money. You might. And you might not. <clears throat> it's hard to find a used one. Uh, PJ Bikerful left a link to Sunset Travel Trailers and Rogers RV. Thank you. Uh, Dertrixa says, cook outside. That's not my cup of tea. Greetings. Well, it's too cold where you are, Dertrixa. Rick G says, I looked at a 2017 17-foot Spirit Deluxe this weekend for sale, and it appears to be well-built. However, the issues I have with it is that I can't stand up in the shower. 
there is virtually no storage space and the refrigerator is way too small. Well, you know, when you say there's virtually no storage space, Rick, that could mean you got too much stuff rather than there not being enough. I got too much storage space, okay? I've got vacant uh, vacant spots. <clears throat> it's just a, it's a, it's a matter of the individual. If you want a lot of stuff, you're going to have to have a lot of space. You know what I mean? And as far as the fridge, mine works fine. It's four cubic foot. This is Lee Santica. I like that. I like that propane connection at the back. They work great for using one of those fire pits for ambiance. Yeah, that's a good idea. You could do that. Uh, here's one from Dorian Christie. Your pink granite inks lake videos of your Mars landing are some of my favorite videos of all time. Yeah, you'll have to check out the Mars videos, guys. Because of your stories and imaginative videos, you will always be, in my thoughts, an adventurer, time and space traveler, amigo, a true storyteller. Thank you for all the adventures you share. You are welcome. Dale Pointer, the poet. Let's see what he's got here. I got to sneeze again. It, to see her, it, pollen gets me. Now back to Dale Pointer's poem. It's a small bathroom, can't you see? Raise the lid, take a peek at me. Good for two, a place to go. You can smile and talk as you go. Thank you, Dale Pointer. Rabbi Jesus, I like that, that's cute. Black water only, that's gonna be one stinky slinky. That's cute. Uh, Benson Speed Shop, really nice brother, Rusty. This is Tracy Phillips, nice camper. Rusty surprised it had a holding tank, great review. I'm not sure how big it was. You'll have to check the specs on the, or the Sunset uh, Park and see what it is. It, it can't be much. I'd say 10 gallons maybe. Uh, K-I-V-I, KV-13. I, I'm thinking that bathroom is for emergency use only. LOL, thanks for the video, Rusty. You're welcome. Baltic Avenue, good afternoon or good morning to you. Bug Out Basics, thanks, enjoyed enjoy the videos. This is Adrian Del Valle. <clears throat> well, I did that one yesterday, so we'll, we'll give it a break here, guys. It looks like uh, we, we done run out of comments because I just, I didn't do enough video. Oh, here we go. Here's some more right here. Huh, where'd these come from? Uh, anyway, this is a uh, Oh, this is a budget travel guy again. He says, this is on the home base, number one, when I got back and all my stuff was scattered around. He says, dang, I hate that happen. Well, you know, things happen. Uh, Lamont Jones says, I am out on that deal. Good tour, though. You will be salesman of the month, Rusty. I know it. I'm not a salesman, man. I don't sell for him. Uh, here's one here. I don't know if I read this one or not. Larry Richelli. Dumb question, how do I find the tower? My phone will only find mobile towers because it's a T-Mobile phone. But my hotspot is AT&T, but I can't seem to find an app for finding those towers. All I can tell you is, is do a Google search and see what you can find because I don't know of any other tricks. And other than that, and with that in mind, <clears throat> see if we can get Google to tell us another joke. Hey Google, tell us a money joke. No, we don't do the Santa Claus crap. Hey Google, tell us a bed joke. Did you hear about the guy thrown in jail for refusing to take a nap? He was resisting arrest. <laughs> very cute, very cute. Hey Google, Tell us a riddle. What goes up, but never comes down? Your age. Hey Google, tell us another riddle. If you have one, you don't share it. If you share it, you don't have it. What is it? A secret. You like those? I don't, they're okay. But anyway guys, I gotta go get the oil changed in my pickup today, my Ram 2017 V6. I'm gonna put some 
Mobile One full synthetic oil in it and change the filter. While I'm there, I'm going to drive one of their new V8 Dodge, or excuse me, Ram pickups just for the hell of it. No, I'm not going to buy one because they're too expensive. Man, talk about, talk about the price of something going up, pickup trucks whew, through the ceiling. But anyway, having said that, thumbs up, Carpe Diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Some of you have asked how that link works, and here's the way it works. There's a link in the description to Amazon products. You click on it, you go to Amazon. It takes you to Amazon products. <clears throat> you know, it takes you to a page. You, know, you don't have to buy what's on that page. During that shopping session, if you buy anything or put it in your uh, cart, uh, then, then I w whenever you pay for it I get a small commission but it cost does not cost you one penny so if you choose to use it fine some of you are and have and I appreciate that it's just a matter that it's inconvenient you know if I was getting ready to go to to Amazon to buy something my you know I, I might think about going to that link and and I probably I, it depends I'd probably do it it depends on, on who I was watching on YouTube but anyway having said that drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you it's good for you It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And the only way to really lose weight is what? Eat less. You know, it, it math just does, you can't eat more and lose weight. It doesn't work. And then you can't jog that many miles either. You, you might feel better from jogging, but you're not losing much weight. You don't burn many calories, believe it or not. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in through your nose or your mouth. Doesn't matter which. Just take a deep breath. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. If you don't believe me, check it out. What else? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. Every day. Why? Because it's good for you. You'll feel better and you may live longer, healthier for doing that, having done that. But anyway, and what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. Don't let the media or somebody dump trash in your brain. Why? Or negativity, you know what I mean? accentuate the positive eliminate the negative and enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time pretty simple stuff right but anyway or try or at least just be aware of it you know what i mean you know i don't mean that you have to go run screaming out of a room if somebody makes a negative comment but i mean that you know learn to avoid people who are na naturally totally negative you know what i mean it's not gonna but we dwell on it yeah we actually enjoy n negative news i mean we, i mean i've told you this Worked for a newspaper for 10 years, and we tried a, quote, good news section, which is a four-page deal with just happy stories in them. Nobody read it, or very few. But anyway, having said that, guys, enjoy your day. It's January the 29th. Can you believe it? 2020. Adios. Anyway, adios, amigos. At ease. Carry on. Enjoy your day. And I'll do, I may do a driving video on the way to Lampasas this morning. Because that's where I got to go to get the oil change. It's about 22 miles to go over there and uh, to the Ram dealer. And they always try to sell me something. You know, they, they do the oil change for 11 bucks. I, I have to bring my own oil. But they always try to sell you something. They'll come back and say, well, you know, that filter, you, know, you might want to upgrade that filter. Or, you know, that oil, we might want to do this. Or, or, you know, there's a this and a that. Believe me, they try to get that 11, 15 times 10. But having said that, guys, bye-bye. Till next time, bye-bye.